Good evening everyone. My name is Henry Gamble and I'm taking a look at the free video tonight for Simpler Options and I wanted to follow up on some ideas that I had shared last week because one of the things for me that was kind of the big transition in going from following, in this case John's ideas, which I was following very religiously at the time, and then getting a little bit more into my own trading was knowing if he makes a suggestion at what point is this idea wrong? versus at what point is it just pulling back into support, and XLU is a perfect trade to talk about that with. So last week I did the free videos on Thursday, and XLU was the ticker I was looking at because it was pretty textbook at the time. You had a nice squeeze in play, we had a situation where we were looking for essentially that we would hold this snow line, and that the squeeze would fire long, taking us into extensions. However, of course, we wake up on Friday, and we're trading back down into the 21 EMA. So, on some level, you could say that this is kind of no harm, no foul, because of the fact that it never would have really triggered for you on that day. Of course, Friday, we wake up, and it's already trading down into these prices. So, you know, you didn't get a chance to buy it on Thursday because the market was already closed. On Friday, it was back down into this area. But how can you determine, is this idea wrong, or is this an opportunity to buy it at a cheaper price? The most basic pattern that I like to follow here, and it's easier to see if you'll come in and hide your studies, but I just like thinking, okay, what was the previous decline like in relation to the decline that we're seeing now? I, you can go back as far as you like, but for this particular example, I'm just looking at the decline that happened a few weeks prior. We take that swing high to swing low and project that from the most recent high. All this is saying is what is the personality of XLU? When it has corrections, how many points is it accustomed to pulling back? In this case, that support came in at 45.65 and the low from that session was 45.64. So within a penny of that is very helpful. Now, of course, there are levels of symmetry that are broken all the time. In order to increase your probabilities of success, I like adding in the retracement of the previous low to high swing and then focusing on the 618 of that move. This just adds some additional support to the idea and backs up the symmetry. So when you add these two levels together or you compare them to each other, you're getting a zone that's about four cents wide. Then, when you add the 21 EMA back into here, you'll see that it's resting right at those levels. So, this was just a pullback to support. The idea is still completely in play, and really, if you were watching that on Friday morning, you would have got a chance to buy it at a little bit cheaper price. So, still a fan of XLU, and then diving down into some of its primary components. NEE, still looking very good for the potential for a move into fresh highs. SO had a solid close today, up a percent, and closing above that snow line, so it also looks very good. And then the third that I was looking at with Dominion Resources, you've got the daily squeeze in here, along with the weekly is coiled, so treat this one the same way. You know, if this initial move off the daily chart instead pushes you back in, down into 7012, you know, all is not lost. That is still support on the weekly chart, and then you'll have a chance to buy it again off of the weekly squeeze. So I like following up on those when the initial play doesn't work out immediately, then you know what to think about to decide if you're right or wrong in a setup, and I will still be looking to trade those three tickers. Another thing that I wanted to make you guys aware of on the topic of chart patterns is that John will be doing a webinar tomorrow, which is Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. He will be covering chart patterns here. Once again, that's on simpler stocks. If you guys are interested in trading that or checking it out, um, you can sign up on the link that's presented after this video. So I hope it helps, and we'll see you guys at the next free video.